I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is Psychax Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is it's better for women to be adorers. So if you haven't done so already, I would highly encourage you to check out my series on the balance of attraction. In brief, it is not possible for two people to like each other exactly the same amount. Therefore, in any relationship, one person must always like the other person more. Both men and women can be adorers, and both men and women can be the adored. And both roles come with their pros and cons. It's not actually better to be the adored and vice versa. However, in my opinion, it's generally better for women to be adorers. It may sound strange, but most people, men and women, most people, actually want to be adorers. Most people don't think they do, but they actually do. And this is because most people are looking for that feeling. They want to find their person, to feel excited about a relationship, to be in love, to feel lucky to be there. But these emotions are not shared in the same degree between the two roles. These emotions are mostly felt by the adorer, why? Because the adorer and only the adorer gets to be with the one they love. The adored, on the other hand, gets to be loved by the one they're with. It's not nearly as emotionally compelling of an experience. So if you want the emotional dimension of love in a relationship, you're really looking to be the adorer. In my experience, it's more important for a woman to have an emotional experience in a relationship than it is for a man. That's kind of like why the woman is there. Perhaps you've heard it said that you can make a woman feel anything except bored. And there's some truth to that statement. A woman who hates you might not leave, but a woman who feels indifferently is probably looking for the door. Now, there's another important reason why it's better for women to be adorers, and this reason has to do with hypergamy which we have now talked about a few times on this channel. Hypergamy is the tendency of women to select up, which is why they tend to mate and date men who are older, taller, stronger, wealthier, and higher status, for instance. This means, literally and figuratively, a woman wants to look up to her man. If a man insists on being the adorer, then he's looking up at her which means that she is looking down at him. And that is definitely not a sustainable relationship. 